I'm Neil Wells, and this is Teen Talk. Today on Teen Talk, how to not get sick and eggnog. All right, so what what do you, what do, you do to not get sick, Jackson? Well, um, I get my flu shot. Hmm. And if I still get sick, though, I, uh, I cough on other people. Oh, try and transfer sick. it to other people. You gotta be kidding me. It's the... No- People at home, this is the best way. I, I would guarantee I, I, thirty-day money-back guarantee. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. Please. I uh, just eat soup and sleep, but no refunds. But no refunds. <laughs> <laughs> so, what would you do to not get sick in the first place? In the case of, say, a head cold. A head. Head cold? Yeah, it's just, you know, normal cold. A normal cold. Stuffy nose. I'd blow my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a good answer. Thank you. All right. Oh. So, <laughs> Ellen, how do you prevent getting sick? How do I prevent getting sick? Well, I'll do all kinds of things. Practice good hygiene. That's a good start and then um, eat healthy get vaccinated um i know i've never gotten my flu shot before i've never gotten a flu shot but i've gotten everything else but um yeah i guess that's it and then um if you do get sick i would just um take whatever medicine you need if it's like if you have like a fever take some tylenol and just sleep it off and um one thing i like to do um, it's like I like to drink orange juice like it's going out of production because it has that vitamin C and that's really good too. Yeah. And you, Liam? Well, um, I actually usually, like when my family is sick, I usually um, resist it because, um, well, it might have something to do that I don't drink anything but water like I don't drink soda or coffee or anything you're getting a bad bone structure then unless you eat other stuff hey I well, eat cereal and that's milk so um <laughs> cow sure I would really uh, drink tea too that also doesn't but Tipper I did almost get sick today in uh, biology what uh, happened Paris I tried to Paris, cough on him and, oh grody uh, mm. grody yeah, I got sick Monday with the stomach flu, and that's going, that's everywhere. Yeah. I know plenty of people who have it now. It's really bad. All right, so now a very uh, interesting choice of a second topic. <laughs> We're going to uh, move on to eggnog. Hell yeah. Ellen, how do you feel about eggnog? Oh, man, I'm addicted. I think over Thanksgiving break, we had one of those, like, leader... Like half gallon oh of eggnog, and I had the whole thing to myself. <laughs> yeah. Some tasty stuff. Liam? Well, considering that I've never had eggnog, really? I can't. Really? I just, I, I mean, I'll try it soon. Like, but. The hell you will. Yeah. Um. Just like man, this egg. Man. This this man. This boy. <laughs> like with egg this boy. <laughs> this boy over here. Hey. Liam. He's a sad he's a sad <laughs> person. Dude. Just, just. <clears throat> Sounds like you got you something can donate to say about one dollar to help Liam, Liam today. today. <laughs> Call the number on the bottom of your screen. Sweet free. <laughs> Liam money. needs your help. <laughs> your help. Not yours. <laughs> Yours. <laughs> See, right there. Yeah. Please donate, please. So, it's for a good cause. How do you feel about eggnog? Uh, it tastes good. Tastes good. It's simple and sweet. Of course, it tastes good. Just like eggnog. Anything else? Why do you think I had a whole half gallon? Thoughts? It's not really much. To Funny talk stories about eggnog. relating to eggnog? Well, uh, it's eggnog. So. Owen once drank what he thought was eggnog. It wasn't eggnog. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. Whoa. <laughs> that didn't happen. It, it wasn't Was it eggnog. something grody? <laughs> it didn't happen. It's it's okay. Yeah. How do you feel about eggnog? 
Well, uh, I guess the only way to say it would be, I love eggnog! <laughs> are you Same. the, uh, are you the, the, like, weird uncle who just shows up to a party like, I brought nine gallons of eggnog. Yep, By the yep, way, it's yep. already all in my stomach. <laughs> Maybe not that overboard, but yeah, pretty close to that. More like more like seven gallons. Maybe. <laughs> oh my God. That's how I feel about you know, Starbucks. just just straight eggnog, not not eggnog with milk, not eggnog and coffee. Yes, just straight eggnog. Yes. Just take like little shots of eggnog. Just yeah. Say, you eggnog Do you know what uh, one shots one awesome. comment I want to make about eggnog is like this kind of is like that one time we talked about how. Holidays are like coming too early. Yeah. Um, they bring eggnog. They make like I don't Halloween care about eggnog. Egg yeah, now. they put it in like these little the black cartons. That? Yeah. Who cares? It's, it's like that good. It's like eggnog is the eggnog. one exception. It's um, pumpkin fall. spice eggnog. eggnog that's, that actually does eggnog sound Eggnog is the only exception, I think, personally, to early holidays. It's <laughs> make we should make eggnog a year, just a year-round. Please. Drink. Hey Jackson, I had to break it to you, but it kind of is. Well, then you find it at uh, your local food farm for any time of the year except Christmas. Dude, Challenge. Like, just like why a do you think eggnog is uh, um, more common around Christmas? Why do you think it's associated with Christmas so why much? Why do you think I that? Think probably because uh, of the history. People can booze it really it has, easily. I don't know. No, I think something. it has to do with the like history. I think it's like a medieval thing that started with the peasants. Mm. Yeah. Because so I, I don't think uh, the peasants couldn't like afford milk, cake? and so they had to make their own thing. Well, it looks like we're running out of time. I'm Neil Wells, and this has been Teen Talk. I love eggnog!